This video is going to show you how to create custom, add to cart the URLs in WooCommerce. Also, I will show you how to redirect to the cart or checkout page when the add to cart button is clicked. I'm using Elementor Page Builder to change the link of a button. You can use any page builder or custom HTML anchor tag in implementing this custom, add to cart the URLs. To create custom add to cart a URL is to add a URL parameter called add to cart after the website URL with the value of a product ID. First, add your website URL or a forward slash then add a question mark, the parameter then the product ID value. The product ID can be found in the products tab. Update the page. After clicking the button, let's check the cart page. The product has been added to the cart so that would mean that the URL is working. Now let's try to redirect it to the cart page after clicking the button. For this method to work, we need to add a cart slug in front of the parameter. Update the page. Next, how about custom quantities? First, let's remove all the items in our cart. Then on the link field, let's redirect it to the cart page, the same product ID, and add quantity parameter with the value. Add an ampersand in front of it. For this example, I added 5. Now when we click the button, it redirects to the cart page with a quantity of 5 items that we set. How about we redirect to the checkout page? The same method as the cart, for this one I will just replace it with the checkout slug. Some of you might have a different cart or checkout URL so be sure to change that accordingly. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.